Kyle Hendricks take a peek at the arsenal for today's starter sinker change four seamer and curveball 13 wins tied for the major league lead with Julio Urias of the Los Angeles Dodgers Kyle now sporting a 3.71 ERA seven innings of one run ball last time out against the Washington Nationals on the ground is short Romine handles and throws him out Adam Engel will step in hitting two and a roller into center right on cue. I don't know what it is, but he loves hitting here at Wrigley. Two men on, one away. Top of the first, Eloy Jimenez. And that one hit on a bounce. Romine to second for one, on to first, two. And Hendricks able to get out of it. 6 4 3. They turn it nicely. Lance Lynn out for his 20th start of the year, looking for his 11th win, his ERA a touch over two. A lot of strikeouts in 108 and two thirds. He struck out 122. A 3 2 home. He got him looking. Ortega will not argue. Well, sometimes you get out guests, and I'm not sure exactly what he's looking for, but he gets a heater right down the middle. Here's Schwindel, former Royal and Athletic. And he struck him out, and that'll do it. Two K's in the first. Nothing, nothing from Wrigley. Greg Dykeman making his major league debut. On a hop, it's Hernandez in short right to make the play. Robinson Chirinos, the catcher for the Cubs, will bat with two out in the inning. High fly to right. Vaughn in the corner makes a catch. After two from Wrigley Field, nothing, nothing. Cesar Hernandez will be first up against Kyle Hendricks. And that one in there got him looking. Hernandez didn't like the call from Brian O'Nora. It sticks around to let him know that's three straight strikeouts. So here's Anderson now. Tim 0 for 1 grounded out his first time. Got right in on his hand. Short hopper knocked down. Romine throw to first out at first. And they go 1 2 3 again. Sergio Alcantara playing second base for the Cubs. 24 year old infielder. Line right to Tim for the out. Hendricks a career 0 99 batter and that one right off the backside of Lynn Anderson will throw to first and get him one to six to three he gets an assist out of that yeah I think Lance is going to be in pretty good shape after that it hit him in probably the best spot you could hit him. and they've got something cooking for Aloy two on nobody out bring him up <laughs> and he does and a big out. Andrew Vaughn will hit with runners at first and third. One away, no score. And a liner into center will give the White Sox the lead. Here comes Engel. It's one to nothing. Andrew Vaughn staying hot. Sebi Zavala will look to bring in a few more. Two out in the inning. First and second for the Sox. Base hit to right. Abreu around third. Here's the throw by Dykeman. It's 2 0. And that was a big hit, certainly punching it through the right side. RBI number nine, better than that. It's a 2 0 score in this game. And that loads the bags for Lance Lynn. And they got him to swing and miss there. And that is that. White Sox take the lead. It's 2 zip midway in the fourth. Half doubled with two outs in the first, was stranded. And it strikes him out on a foul tip. Number three for Lynn. Here's Schwindel. Swing and a miss. Back to back K's. Well, the guys like Lance Lynn, he knows how to do that. Greg Dykeman in his major league debut grounded out his first time. That one in the air out towards right field and it finds space. First major league hit for Greg Dykeman. And the dugout waving for the baseball. Andrew Romine, the hitter. 2 2 on the ground to Tim down to a knee. And Lynn with that shutdown fourth. And the Cubs will have the bottom three in their order here in the fifth. Swing and a miss, strike three. It's the fifth strikeout for Lance Lynn today. So two walks here in the inning. Two away, and it'll bring up Matt Duffy. Call strike three. So Lynn gets out of it. The Cubs strand two. The boy is 0 for 2 against the team that brought him into the professional ranks of Major League Baseball. Driven to right in the corner and it's going to get to the wall as Eloy will make his way to second. He's got a double. 
Jones base hit last night was to right field this time he hit it a bundle to right field one down the right headed batting Sebi Zavala to step in it payoff pitch and that one punch coming home and they get the tag on Goodwin in the out at the plate Alcantara with a strike and on contact with Goodwin coming home they get the second out Lance Lynn will step in he'll take this AB bases loaded two away and Hendricks Carves up Lynn, and the White Sox leave him loaded. Another good outing today for Kyle Hendricks. It's 2-0 White Sox. We're midway in the sixth. Trent Swindell, the first baseman for the Cubs, is 0 for 2 with two strikeouts. He struck him out for the third time. First pitch now to Greg Dykeman. It's a fly ball into left. Anderson going back. Vaughn coming on. He'll make the catch. Go down to his knees and just miss a collision with Tim Anderson. That was scary. Adam Engel will come up with one out in the inning. That is a fair ball in the left field corner. Three hit day for Adam Engel. Maybe he can steal third again. Brian Goodwin to bat for the first time today. Swing and a miss, and Jewel able to get Goodwin, and he pitches himself out of the jam. So we will get a pitching change. Lance Lynn was brilliant once again, and he'll get a nice ovation from the Sox fans in the ballpark. So here's Bodie now with runners at the corners. Lined into left field. Vaughn makes the catch. Tagging from third is Romine Bodie with a line drive sacrifice fly and it's a 2-1 game. Patrick Wisdom got plenty of power. So here's the situation two away runner on first two to one Sox. The payoff pitch in the air to right. This will get him out of it. I believe Goodwin backpedaling he's got it. And after seven it's 2-1 White Sox. New pitcher is on to face. Cesar Hernandez, left-handed reliever Kyle Ryan. Lefty home, fly ball well hit. Gone! What'd you say about power? That's his side. I, for me, that's not a real good pitching change for David Ross. Because you turn a guy who's hit 18 home runs, many more home runs right-handed than left. You turn him around to hit right-handed, and he adds a couple more to four to one game bottom of the eighth Craig Kimbrell back at Wrigley Field and pitching against the Cubs this time lined out of the left center field and that's a base hit Duffield stop at second Schwindel with a knock two outs two on Andrew Romine at the plate swing and a ball drilled in the air right field that one going back and it's gone home run for Romine and we are tied. Wow what a moment maybe Andrew Vaughn was right when he was playing Romine so deep in right field earlier in this ball game. The Cubs and the winning run on first with two out Ian Happ the three hitter now swing and a miss four strikeouts for Hendricks. We go to the tenth inning Sox four Cubs four. Jose Abreu used the runner at second base. Goodwin came on in relief of Aloy Jimenez. That was back in the top of the sixth. Driven to left. It's deep. It is gone. Brian Goodwin with a two run homer. That was a line drive rocket, a no doubter. Gavin Sheets is inserted as the pinch batter in the pitcher spot. Ground ball base hit. Here comes Vaughn. It's a three run lead. Gavin Sheets comes through. Tim Anderson will bat. Go for five today. Three ground outs, two strikeouts. Tim with a base hit. There's the salvage. It's eight to four. And the Cubs need base runners. They trail by four, the bottom of the tenth inning. Frank Schwindel leads it off. In the air, towering fly ball, left field. And that one is going to go. A two run homer for Frank Schwindel. And just like that, the Cubs get two back. It's eight six. So here's Davies. And he drives one out in the left center angle on the move. He's got it. And the White Sox win this wild one in 10 innings. 8-6 the final.